Hi, I'm Buddy Warren, and this is Thursday Afternoon Weekly Update. Good news. The abductor of Chuck the Whale and Larry the Unicorn has been captured. It is my sad duty to report to my viewers that the abductor was our very own Floyd Jusa abduction expert. I'm still shaken that I sat next to Floyd Juza, abduction expert. I guess that's why he's the expert. On a more positive note, let's join our correspondent, Will Bruce, and the happy reunion of the band and their beloved mascots. Here we go. We have found the band mascots! How is this going to affect the band? I have two mascots, like who wouldn't play better? And one's a pillow. And a pet. <laughs> a pillow pet, really? Okay, well that sums it up, thanks! Thanks Will, that is very touching. Now let's check in on the weather with Chad Bullock. Thanks, buddy. We're hoping for a white Christmas. Let's check in with the weather girls. Ho, ho, ho. Thanks, Chad. We're making snow angels. Except it's kind of muddy. Back, Back to, to you, you, Chad. Thanks, weather girls. Guess it's going to be a muddy Christmas, buddy. Back to you. Thanks, Chad. Now let's go over to sports with Kevin Rajananash. Thanks, buddy. It's the holiday season. Now let's go out to Shelby Canole with Marcus Beaupre. Thanks, Kevin. Today I'm here with Marcus Beaupre, senior on the boys' basketball team. He made 23 whopping points this weekend in the season opener in Cascade. How did that feel, Marcus? Oh, uh, you know. Oh, that's good. So today Marcus is going to show us how to shoot the perfect half court shot. He's a little to the left. A little high into the left. And he definitely misses that one. He's looking a little off today. Swishes that one. And he swishes. Oh, he made a third. Thanks, Marcus. Do you think that you can impress us with one of those this season? Well, you know, I... No, okay. Thanks, Kevin. Back to you. Thanks, Shelby. Let's go over to Chantel Palmer with girls basketball. Thanks, Kevin. The highlight for girls basketball this week was when a player, Drew Zaparian, lost a basketball between the rim and the backboard. Coach Anthony was quick to respond, but only succeeded on his fourth try. Let's see what he has to say about this. How do you feel about not being able to touch the rim anymore? I'm old. I'm old. I'm old. I'm old. I can't do it anymore. I can't do it anymore. I can't do it anymore. I'm old. He's old. Well, better get back to work. Yeah, I gotta go work. <laughs> Redeem yourself. Go. Redeem me. Go. Thanks, Chantel. Let's check in with Jordan Powers and a very unappreciated woman. Thanks, Kevin. Hi, I'm Jordan Powers back here at Jefferson High School with Mrs. Humphrey, Coach Humphrey's wife. So, Ms. Humphrey, you're married to Coach Humphrey. Would you say that you're married to wrestling? Yes, I'd say I'm married to wrestling. That's good. That's good. So, how have you, how have you contributed to the boys? Have you helped with managing sorts of things? Have you been with him step by step each time? I don't help really with managing, but I go to the meets and I cheer them on, and you can usually hear me yelling for all the kids. So. Regardless that's, of who it is, yeah. That's good, that's good. So, you were involved with kids, you enjoy it, so how long has Coach Humphrey been doing this? Um, I think this is like his 14th year, but I could be wrong on that. 
We've been involved with wrestling since Cody was three. Wow, that's a long time. But that's good. Yeah. So your husband doesn't use shampoo, do you? I do use shampoo, yes, and I think he uses shampoo too because I buy it for him. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> Thanks, Miss Humphreys. Back You're to welcome. you, Kevin. <laughs> Thanks, Jordan. Back to you, buddy. Thanks, Kevin. Now let's check in on our feel-good correspondent, Clint Ferret and the Holiday Club Choir. Hi, I'm Clint Ferret with uh, part of the Holiday Club, and they're about to go around the, ha the halls and start caroling. Is there anything you guys would like to say? I mean, what inspired this? Christmas. Christmas. And elves. Elves. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Anything else? Santa! Candy Grams! Speaking of which, this week you guys are doing what? They're doing Candy Grams! Thanks guys! Back to you buddy! Thanks Clint! Now let's go out with our hallway correspondents and figure out what the JHS community is doing for the holidays. Thanks, buddy. I'm here with Mr. Samson, a substitute teacher. What are your plans for the holiday? Well, I'm bringing my family together at our house. Hi, I'm Kendra Jackson. And I'm Jordan Powers. And we're here with Diana and Jessica. So, Diana, what are you going to do for this holiday season? Hang out with my mother. Mrs. Piccolo, what are your holiday plans this year? My daughter and her boyfriend are coming home from Chicago the 22nd. <laughs> so, what are your plans for this Christmas break? I don't have any. <laughs> she doesn't have any. What are you going to do for this holiday season? Open presents. Um, I don't know. <laughs> she doesn't know. We are going to open presents on Christmas Eve. Uh, I'll probably sit at home, spend some time with my family. That's good, that's good. I don't think I got much planned for this holiday. And we're going to do all sorts of girly stuff like shopping and going out to lunch. Sleep. Eat. Be merry. Uh, I'll show you that. And we'll go skiing for sure. Uh, it's family with my family. It's family. Um, nothing. <laughs> Playing anyway. some Black Ops. That's you know, good. That's good. And watching our favorite old movies, our holiday films. We're going to go to my church and we're going to have a church Christmas Eve service. And then we're going to have a sleepover with my three grandchildren. Just spend time with my grandkids and my kids and... Have fun. What do you plan to do for the holiday season? <laughs> uh, spend time with my family and friends. That's good, that's good. What was my question? <laughs> We're here looking for New Year's resolutions. Here's a student out. What's your New Year's resolution? Um, probably to get better grades in school. I'm gonna join a marathon. What? My New Year's resolution is to compliment three people every day. I'll probably just decide to run a marathon or eat healthy. Do not kill any students the new year. That's a great New Year's resolution. You know, it has to do with health usually or working out or so I can live longer and healthier. So Ryan, do you have a New Year's resolution? I don't. Do you have any New Year's resolutions for this new upcoming year? Absolutely not. The list is pretty lengthy. I don't think we have enough time in this little skit here. Study more? Okay. Have a great holiday. No. Okay. Moving on. Probably just gonna... I don't know. Uh, just to continue on what I'm doing already. Great. Do you think you'll be able to fulfill it this year? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm getting a little tougher each year because uh, my time's running out. That's good. Alright, buddy. Back to you. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. And for Thursday Afternoon Weekly Update, I'm Buddy Warren. Happy Holidays! One, two, three, four! Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle all the way! All the fun gets around one who's open sleigh! Hey! Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle all the way! All the fun gets around one who's open sleigh! Hey! Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle all the way! All the fun gets around one who's open sleigh! Hey! Jingle bell, back in the south, Robin, later today! The battle of Bill! Alright, now we're good.